like to take time to welcome everyone to my channel. It's great to have you joining me today. So we look here. Um, I have five other videos ready to release, and I hope uh, that uh, uh, you will see a much better production as we go along now a little bit about myself before we begin i i am 76 years old and uh, and it's truly as you've heard to teach old dog new tricks and i can verify that uh, i have uh, painted uh, all my life and uh, i am self-taught and i'll tell you by being self-taught it takes you a whole lot longer without some instructions but you can learn over the years, and uh, and your passion that you have in your heart is a very important thing whenever you're attempting your painting career throughout your life. Uh, uh, you know, it's not just the pat on the back and, uh, that you've done a good job, but it, it's just uh, bringing joy to people when they look at your picture. And also, when they look at your picture, they might be reminded of, of a situation in their life and takes them back in time. and. Uh, and uh, it's uh, encouraging when I see a smile on people's face. So uh, as we look here, 19, uh, when I was 19 years old, I was looking at a career at Hallmark Cards and four years of college at the Kansas City Art Institute. But uh, like so many 19-year-olds, I found myself being drafted into the Army. So uh, like so many of us, when we got out, if we got out, made it back home. Our attitude wasn't the greatest in the world. We look back in those years and it was a very unpopular war. All wars is unpopular, not just Vietnam, but uh, uh, all of them. Uh, they're just, uh, it's needless and it's hard to understand how human beings can attempt to kill one another. But while serving my country, I was offered a career in the Army Art Department. Now, the, uh, I decided against it, uh, thinking that Vietnam might be in my near future in 1966. So I thought it'd be wise for me not to do that. Besides that, I had a, a gal back home, and uh, she had waited on me for two years, and uh, I wanted to get home to her and start my family. So uh, as I continued on in my life, I went to work for Remington Arms as a illustrator and did a hitch with the uh, patent office of Kansas City, Missouri. Worked there for a while and, uh, and uh, went out married and started my family. We raised three boys and needless to say, things got pretty hectic in, uh, in my work, my artwork I laid to a side for several years. And years that I've lost, I wish I hadn't done that. But years later, I was called to the ministry and I've been a pastor for 30 plus years and managed a Bible camp uh, with my wife, uh, children for 20 years also. Now also at this time pastoring a small church in my retirement years. But in my retirement years, I've decided to take up my artwork and I'm enjoying it again and I and, and, uh, hope you enjoy it when you see it. I love to paint with watercolors, uh, oils, uh, acrylic. Uh, I enjoy the uh, the outdoors and in my artwork. I think you see the reflection in that uh, as I produce my paintings over the years. I love to do wildlife, and uh, uh, as I say, I love to fish and hunt. and uh, And I found myself uh, growing up in the suburbs of a big city, uh, uh, farm life. I remember farm life. And, and again, that all plays in my inspiration. Uh, so we look here in this uh, video that I'm doing here, you can see how grainy it looks. And I, I don't have the uh, lighting on uh, the first par uh, portion of this, so I apologize for that. Uh, but uh, we get too critical in our art, uh, I have found, most people that if you're not having fun painting, uh, I love to paint with a palette knife. I, uh, like I, it's, uh, it's you, you have the freedom that you don't normally have when you pick up a brush and the textures and the, and the reliefs that you have as you produce your paintings. Uh, many times you'll look at it and you'll see uh, happy accidents as uh, you might witness uh, that you didn't plan to see in a painting. But here, I'm, uh, I'm trying to work out a, uh, 
a plan. Uh, one of the worst things I've done with this painting here was I didn't have a composition in mind. Uh, as I, I, I'm going to tell you in, in this uh, visit we're having today, uh, that, one of the, that, that is a very important thing, composition, uh, as you're looking at a painting. But I'll tell you, a more important area in your art is your inspiration. Now, if you're not inspired to, uh, to do a painting, uh, uh, you not only probably won't do it, you won't continue in it. And if you do, you won't do it well. And so uh, I, I'm telling you that uh, inspiration has a whole lot, everything to do with it. Um, whenever you're uh, planning a painting, uh, it, it's very important. I've heard it said, and I believe it is, you need a value study. A value study is very important. Uh, it's not the color, but it's uh, the, 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 the atmosphere of a painting that will make your painting stand out. And then the color comes in and you can paint it about any color you want, as long as you get close to nature itself. But the thing of it is that uh, you want a good value study to get that atmospheric uh, look in your paintings. And so that's what I'm doing here. And I, and, um, I wanted to illustrate to you that whenever you're painting, and uh, you're not happy with what you've got, uh, you can always change it. Everybody might say, well, I don't want to mess my painting up. I don't believe you can mess your painting up. I'm telling you right now, I believe that uh, if you're not happy with a painting, you need to do something with it because you're one, one that is painting it. Uh, in what's in your mind and what you uh, see may not be appropriate what you've finished. And so as I illustrate here in a moment, that I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna destroy this painting. Now this is an oil on canvas and uh, uh, it, it's kind of tedious because you can't work fast on it. That's the only thing about oils, you know, unless you're working wet on wet. And uh, and, I, and that's what I'm doing here. But uh, as I was working on this picture, I come to the conclusion that I did not like it. Uh, it there was something about it that just wasn't popping out. And so as we see here, in a moment, uh, what I do, uh, and uh, I, I get tickled when people say that they they uh, uh, are so afraid that they're going to mess their painting up. Uh, so many times, when you mess a painting up, it's it seems like uh, uh, you've created a, a, a painting that you want if you just fight your fight your way through it. Uh, you know, if you stop in mid midway of it, that you'll not achieve what you want, but to, if you go on and you uh, continue and uh, fight your way through it, uh, then you come to the conclusion, yeah, I see it now. I see what I want. It's kind of like uh, your inspiration needs to grow. And like I said, you need a, a composition a, a, a subject a, in your mind to start with. Now, this one here, I just decided that I would uh, uh, sit down and just uh, pull one out of my mind, uh, out of the air. And, uh, and that's okay, too. But uh, uh, I, uh, I think it's very important that you uh, get a plan before you start. Now here you'll see that I'll take the brushes and, uh, or my brush and I'll destroy what I've got. And uh, I, I just couldn't live with it. And so I just decided that I was gonna do something about it. So I did, I just started smearing paint and uh, and so, as you see here, uh, and I'll just uh, back off a little bit and let you watch and see uh, what I'm doing. But uh, I'm just, it's, it's, it's just carefree. That's the thing. You just want to relax and have fun. And, uh, you know, you can get disturbed and, and get irritated about it. And, but the thing of it is, it's a growing, it's growing all the time. And so, uh, and it's exciting to see something pop when it does. So just kind of watch here a little bit, and I'll, I'll share with you what I'm doing uh, uh, in, as I illustrate it here. Just covering it up. to just uh, spread color and uh, watch it do its thing. Uh, it's really enjoyable. OK, 
kind of chaotic. You can kind of look at the way my brush is flying, but sometimes things uh, will appear and come out the way you want it. Just relax and do it. Didn't like the feel. And uh, other things about it. Uh, composition's not what I want. And this is a growing picture throughout the whole thing. This is uh, growing and uh, uh, evolving. And sometimes that's the way a painting does. It's just, uh, I, I had the foothills of the Missouri uh, Ozarks when I did this. And uh, if you get in the southern part of Missouri, you'll find the hills. Uh, and as I continue with my painting here, uh, I changed the background also. And later, as you're going to see in my uh, results or my finished product, uh, you'll see that I put some rolling hills back in there. Like you can see down in the southern part of, uh, of Missouri. Grew up in Missouri, and uh, I've been around different states, but uh, I'll tell you now, uh, I wouldn't want to live in any other state other than Missouri. Uh, I uh, think Missouri has a lot to offer. Uh, get in your car and you see the foothills of the Ozarks, and uh, uh, they're beautiful, or, you know, there's many sights to be seen in Missouri, and, and inspiration, again, is, is a wonderful thing. So. Uh, I can be driving along in a car and I can see an old building. I love old buildings and I can look at it. buildings and I get so inspired that I want to take a picture of it. And I had a an old building not too long ago that I kept putting off and putting off. It was just a beautiful setting for a painting. And lo and behold, as I come by, by to take a picture, a dozer had been there and the house was gone. And I really hated that because I, I liked to have had a photograph of that and painted that. Uh, I love to paint buildings and uh, uh, a lot of things. I love to paint. Now the hills back there are not changing a whole lot, but uh, they will as time goes on, and you'll see. But it's it's so enjoyable. Put a paintbrush in your hand and a palette knife, and uh, it's just a uh, fun thing. Just to create. I uh, first captured this video. I had it up for about three hours, and I thought that's that's entirely too long. And so I did some editing and some cutting, and, and you can primarily see what I've done and uh, kind of give you the idea of my technique. And uh, pretty well self-explanatory. Uh, as you see as we continue here, I, I like I said, I did some editing and cut it back and, and uh, tried to shorten it a little bit. Uh, but you can see. Good or bad?
in a moment here, I'm going to uh, bring a screenshot of the painting that's finished and give you an idea uh, what this mess is going to turn into. Uh, I think I showed that in the beginning of it also, but I want to remind you, give you an idea how I've changed it. Like I said, it's it's a drawing uh, work that uh, as, as time moves on, uh, hopefully that it improves what, you, what you're looking for, what you're trying to achieve in a painting. I've not uh, done a whole lot with my works. I, I, uh, I paint like a lot of painters, and then uh, throw them in a closet. Somebody asked me how many paintings I have on my wall, and I said uh, none. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It just uh, just paint them and give them away, or uh, I might sell one every now and then. Uh, but uh, I enjoy, it. like I said, I enjoy doing them. Hopefully that uh, maybe one day that I can maybe do something. The days are getting away from me though, <laughs> at my age. But uh, yeah, it's uh, one of them things that we just kind of put off, put off, and then uh, time gets away. So you can see here as I'm working uh, on the bushes there, uh, the, the tree wasn't the tree that I wanted. And, and again, I apologize because this is not a very good video. Uh, you know, when I'm doing the sky, I didn't illustrate that, and I that I I should have got that in there. Now, in the future, I'm going to be more alert to that. Uh, and I take a wider shot or a close up or something that, that I, as I say, as I mature, grow in this uh, field. That you know, I've never done anything like this, and so uh, my microphone. Uh, I've had a terrible time to figure that thing out, but uh, so I can do a voiceover. Uh, I uh, I learn it takes it takes a while for me to learn something. I guess it may be partly in my age, but like I said, uh, the technology we have today is a good thing, or it can be a bad thing. But uh, uh, it, it's a great way that I might be able to show my artwork with you or share it with you. And uh, again, not to show off or anything like that, because I know there's a whole lot better painters than me that I can that I do. But I I, I love to sh to share my work, and that's part of the enjoyment of painting. You stop and think about that. That uh, others might see uh, 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 an illustration or a painting that not only reminds them of something, but but it's enjoyable that you bring uh, joy to people's lives. Uh, uh, like I said, I've been very busy in my life. Uh, we, like so many, or I, so many others that have lived their life, you know, I'm 76 years old, and it just doesn't seem possible. But uh, time is so valuable. And in our in your works, that as you paint or whatever it is that you do, uh, you'll never be able to uh, recover that if you don't take advantage of it, as we all know. But uh, like I have been busy all my life and uh, been very productive uh, in a non-productive er uh, area that I live in. Uh, but uh, I belong to uh, 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 an association. Uh, we have uh, 20, or uh, had 33 churches and uh, I've been in 28 of those churches. I've uh, built an RV park, did that. So, Director of maintenance at uh, uh, for five schools, uh, as a school board for nine years, and so it's just been a busy, busy time. And it, you know, if you're not careful, time will get away, and you'll you'll uh, lose that important time to. Uh, and, and there's things that are important. I'm not saying there's not, but uh, if you're going to grow in your work, you've got to paint. Now you can't just sit and watch somebody paint. I think you're going to be a, a great painter. Uh, you can learn with their technique, and it's really uh, uh, a nice that you, and with the uh, technology we have today that you can do that and be and, and and grow and learn. But you've got to sit down with a putty knife, like I'm using here, or a palette knife, or a brush, 
and find out what that brush uh, is capable of. That brush will uh, paint what you want if you just understand the technique, how you want to do it. Each brush is designed to do what you want. If you want grass, if you want trees, if you want whatever you want, uh, those brushes will do it, but you've got to be in control of that brush. And in order to, to uh, achieve what you're trying to do, you, you've got to have a, an understanding, a uh, working idea of what, what uh, a palette knife will do uh, with a sharp edge or with a flat edge. It, it's just, uh, and, I, and I mentioned a while ago, a wet on wet technique, it, it's a fun uh, uh, procedure to do. And like I said, the coloring, uh, sometimes will astonish you because when you step back and look at it, you'll see the blending of colors that you didn't, didn't, would normally see. And that's experience, you might say, that you do have control, even though it might be, as I said, a happy accident, uh, but you, you, you will grow and you'll understand what it will do. And, and it'll mean so much to you when you're, uh, when you're painting. And like I said, there's no other enjoyment that you can do is when you sit down and you do a painting in it and that painting looks uh, near to what you want, I don't think you ever achieve what you want because if you do, then you quit painting. But the thing of it is you can achieve a, a happy area, uh, that you, a happy spot, let me say it that way, that you achieve what you, somewhat what you've tried to do. And any painting that you can do, you can stop and look at it and say, well, I wish I'd done that differently. Uh, well, you know, there's nothing wrong. Somebody said, well, you should not have painted a painting more than one. No, I think you ought to paint a painting a dozen times uh, because each time you paint that painting, uh, you'll, your rendering, your, your finished subject will be better and better because you see the shortcomings as you, as you get done. You, you sit back and look at a finished painting and say, boy, I wish I'd have done that differently. And, and, and you can. You can just uh, get you another piece of canvas or hardboard or whatever you want to paint on or watercolor. I, I, I really, really love watercolor because uh, uh, the, the, the pure color, uh, it, when, when you apply that color to paper with a wash, it just grows as you paint. And it just looks like it's alive. And so uh, a, a, a lot of people don't realize because they don't understand the technique of painting with watercolor, but it truly is a wonderful way a quick, uh, a quick rendering or a procedure to do what you're trying to do, and the blending of the colors is just wonderful. And uh, and I would recommend that, uh, to paint a painting more than once, uh, and uh, and to uh, uh, I don't like staying with oils by itself. I don't like to stay with acrylics. I don't. I like to move around with watercolor and uh, and experience uh, different techniques in in that, those areas and. Uh, I think that's how you grow. I really do, because each uh, procedure, each technique, has its own. Now, here again, I apologize because you can't see the the sky. Now, shortly coming up, you will you'll be able to see it. I don't know exactly where it's going to come in, but you'll be able to see what I've done with the sky. And uh, again, I apologize because this is my first uh, attempt. And, uh, you know, on a Sunday morning. Uh, I, I, I have plenty to say in the pulpit, but for some strange reason, when I started uh, with this uh, a video, I found myself tongue tied. And so I had to sit down and write some notes out to, to get myself to feel comfortable in this procedure, this project that I'm doing. And uh, so uh, when, I, when I'm visiting with you here, it's just like you're sitting here with me. I adapted, I adapted it that my computer is uh, you. And I wish I could hear a comment from you and how you did. Now, here we go. This is what I've done. <clears throat> this is what I've done here. Uh, this is towards the end of the uh, project. And uh, I'm just kind of working in the sky, trying to do some uh, lightning, uh, uh, lighten up the sky there at the horizon. And again, uh, value, uh, you know, is very, very important. In the finish, now you will not see it in this, but now you can see I'm kind of coming down in the hills there in the background, and I'm trying to fade it in. Well, that that's the, the value. I'm, I'm a study that I should have worked out, but I'm working it out with the painting, as you can see here. So uh, 
this has evolved into a painting that uh, that I kind of like. Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, a different type of, of painting. I I uh, I love realism, and uh, uh, you know, it's just uh, a fun type painting that you can kind of uh, uh, create as you continue. Fingers that's as good as any brush you ever ever used. I, uh, I love to paint uh, abstract paintings, uh, it's a flavor of realism in it. Uh, it like I said, it's a, a great way to paint and uh, enjoyable, just relaxing. So I would encourage anybody just to try it and, and just have fun with it. Don't, don't fight it. Don't uh, just enjoy it. I'm trying to establish some some uh, areas in those hills back there to make it stand out, and and I will in the finished painting. You'll see trees appear back in there that uh, that that you don't see there right now, but and also the rolling hills. Uh, I'll as we uh, get closer to the end, you'll see there towards the end of the uh, production. So. We're about 30 minutes into this uh, video, and I, 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 like I said, I've shortened it, and uh, I really have enjoyed doing this. Uh, hoping in the near future that I can do more, and uh, you know, if I get some people that s s subscribe to my channel and put a like up there, then uh, that would encourage me to do it. You know, we have a lot of people that do, and I don't think I think there's always room for one more. So. You guys be a good cheer and I hope that uh, I have in some way or another my channel here is that I wanted to work for inspiration for you and your work and just have fun while you paint just have fun why paint if you're not having fun and so be a good cheer thanks for watching please like and subscribe and uh, God bless you and we'll see you in the days ahead hopefully Bye-bye.